Today we're going to be talking about what's louder, 212s or 115. How many times have you gone to Facebook or a forum somewhere or asked the buddy, hey, what's going to be louder, these 212s or this 15? And you always hear, well, it depends, right? Well, I'm going to talk about um, kind of a simplistic way of answering this question, what's louder? 212s or 115. In fact, I love answering what's louder, this or that, because forever I was trying to figure out what's louder, this or that, with all, all the complication involved. So, for a moment, we're going to talk about, um, let's say we're talking about the SCAR EVL, and let's say what's louder, 212s of the SCAR EVL or 115 of the SCAR EVL. And I, I feel it's important that we do talk about uh, the same series of subs so that we can kind of compare an apples to apples. If we were to say talk about what's louder, two SCAR EVL 12s or a Sundown Compact Neo 15, we'd have a completely different discussion. But for this, we're going to talk about apples to apples. Okay. First thing, we're going to look at this. This is um, the ISPLL uh, cone area reference chart. You can just Google cone area chart online. You'll find a ton of these. And right here, it's telling you that 112 is 113 square inches, 212 or 226 square inches, 115 is 176 square inches. Now you'll notice that this 176 is pretty darn close to 50% bigger than this 113. And cone area, as I mentioned before, cone is king. And there's a reason that people say that. And that doesn't always hold true, but in general it is true. So if you're talking about going from 112 to 212s, doubling the cone area, you are going to be 3 dB louder in general. I've tested this. It's fairly accurate. It's, a, it's, a, it's theory, theoretical. Sometimes when you get in a car, things are a little bit off or weird. But in general, you'll be 3 dB louder. So, uh, and that's for the same power. We're not, we're not doubling the power. If we're putting 1,000 watts to 112 here, and we're putting 500 watts to 212s, you are going to be 3 dB louder. The quickest and easiest way to get loud is cone area. And because we're talking about the same series, we can go ahead and compare this in this sort of fashion. So I'm going to attempt to draw. Okay, there's 112. And let's say that's a 15. And let's say we've got two 12s down there. And let's say this 112 will get you about 100 dB at 1 watt. Okay, now this 15 is 50% bigger, so you're going to end up with 101.5 dB with the 15, with the 1 watt. The 212s down here, you're going to end up 3 dB louder than the 112, so you're going to be 103 db so the two 12s are going to get you about a db and a half louder now there are a few other things that come into play um but in general this is going to hold true now one thing to talk about is you will get a slight boost from motor force so with this 15 here you've got a little motor behind it and with these 12s you should have if they're the same series typically the same motor size and so what you end up with the 12s is you end up with uh, more motor force per square inch of cone which also could give you a little bit extra db now how much well this this gets a little complicated uh when we're talking about the evl okay so here's the evl this is the evl 18 I'm going to open up a picture here, the EVL18, and here is the motor for it, and it's, guys, I'm sorry, it's tiny. In fact, I'm going to show you down here, 
max it out. We're going to go look real quick at the specs. Here's the BL. And that's 12.68 BL. And that is for, this one is the Dual 4. That is, that is very low BL. BL is how much motor force is actually basically getting to the coil. It's very low. The, the scars are, uh, the, the EVL series specifically, um, has just does, has, the motor is just tiny. It's very undersized. Uh, not saying that scar is bad. Some of their other subs, they do have some decent subs. Uh, just the EVL. So in this case, going with two 12s versus a 15, you might actually see a decent help because the motor force is so small. I've known, I've known people time and time again that have switched from an EVL build where they, they've got four 15s or two 12s or whatever. Um, some of them have, have like eight 15s and they'll switch to some other brand, some other sub. And they'll immediately gain, even without increasing the power, they'll gain 1 to 3 dB. In fact, they might even be running less power. Because the motor is just not really big enough to push and pull that cone for you very e effectively. So, uh, in this particular case, you probably would get a little bit of a bump from... Going, in fact, let's look at the EVL. Let's look at the 12. So here's the 18 we were looking at. Let's go look at the 12s. And you'll notice just how much bigger that EVL motor looks on the, the 12. So here's the 12. You can see how much bigger that EVL motor looks versus the 18. That 18 is just tiny. So you are going to get a little bit of a bump with motor force. And that might even add a, a dB or so. It's really, really hard to tell with motor force uh, when you're kind of comparing 15 to two 12s. Uh, if we were comparing uh, one 15 versus another 15, we, we might have a little bit better data. Okay. So the 15 is going to be louder. Uh, or sorry, the two 12s are going to be louder than the 15. The 15 will be louder than a single 12. Uh, if we were talking about real quick, um, two 12s, 226 square inches versus 118, 254 square inches. And you get a little bit more motor force with the two 12s. They have a little bit more cone area than 18. Now that's an entirely different topic. And I'd love to talk about that one because that also has a very simple solution to it. And it doesn't deal really with motor force or cone area. It has to deal with other specs. We'll probably have that discussion coming up. So pay attention to the videos in the future. Thanks for joining and cheers.